Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you like the videos, then make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you want to leave any feedback, that's always appreciated down in the comments. And if you want to keep up with this series as well as my other projects, then go ahead and join our Discord, which is on the screen. Take care, nerds. Now on to the video. Hey guys, welcome to episode 13 of my Discord JS bot development series. In this episode, we're going to kind of take things together and I'm have a challenge for you guys. So I'm going to start off right with that. So in the previous episodes, we have been doing a lot of things that I've been introducing you guys to, you know, different ways of utilizing the Discord JS API and, and library, efficient code practices when using JavaScript and Node.js, etc. And with this video, like I said, I have a challenge for you. Now, last episode, the last two episodes, we talked about databases, MongoDB, and per server settings, meaning like each server can configure different settings, such as welcome channel, welcome message, etc. And I left off at the end of the last video where we just set up the prefix command. So here, I'll kind of just, you know, add in comments. Well, actually, let me start with the bot. Okay, so here we go and do config. You know, it just says default same, but if you do config prefix, it will show us the current prefix. Now, if you do config prefix, let's say this, we update the prefix, and we do a config prefix. So I'll go ahead and change that to back to this. So it goes config ping. So that's kind of where we started off with the last episode. However, I stopped here for a reason. Because in this episode, I'm going to have you guys not only take, for those of you been following off the series, I'm going to have you guys take for, take what you learned with this, with the previous two episodes, and basically the series all together, and kind of like, you know, come together, setting up the rest of this config command. So not only will you be able to set the prefix, but the welcome channel, welcome message, etc. Now, when setting up this config command, you're going to want to make sure that you're going through the comments, reading the comments, and really just read the comments first and foremost. Some have examples. You can read more information there. But by reading that, it will help you get an understanding of how to set up each of the different config settings. Uh, I'm also going to change this. So it's like easier example because this is an example, but I want to change it. So I'm going to do message.gills.channels.find. You know, so if you want to get the name, so you have to update a variable before, so you can check for the name. And if you want to do the mention, well, you can read the docs about that. But Make sure you read the comments and it will really give you understanding of what you're supposed to do. So that's the first thing. Now, with this challenge, I'm going to want to be able to see your code. And how am I going to be able to see your code? Well, we're going to use GitHub and Git. And Git, and Git, Git is a way of version control. It allows you to see um, changes with your code over time and go to specific commits. You can see line by line change that you made, file by file, etc. And with that, we're going to be using this GitHub new, brand new GitHub repository that I made for the bot so I can see your code. And we can get to that. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Git and GitHub, I recommend that you go ahead and watch this video by Traversy Media. Um, I'm a huge fan of Brad like from Traversy Media. I've learned so much from him. I highly recommend you watch his videos just in general. It's, I learned so much. Anyways, he has his Git and GitHub crash course for beginners. If you don't know how to use Git or GitHub, I would stop here. Don't even continue with this yet and go learn Git and just watch this video in its entirety beginning to end because there's so much to learn and you'll be happy that you learn Git and GitHub. So before anything else, if you don't know how to use Git or GitHub, come watch this video, the whole thing. So if you do know how to use GitHub or if you just want to keep watching and get an idea of what this challenge is, then let's keep moving on. So 
The challenge is you guys are going to finish the rest of this config command. And once you do that, you're going to create a pull request on this repository right here. And you can create a pull request by forking the repository, you know, cloning that repository on your computer, making the necessary changes, pushing back to the um, repository on the new branch, and then you can make a pull request from that branch. I also leave another GitHub article about you doing pull request. Make sure you read that too if you're not sure about like you're still not that familiar with getting GitHub. Watch this video and then watch read that article about creating pull request. So that's what you want to do. And once you create that pull request, myself and others can come here and review your code. And by reviewing your code, I can make sure like you adhere to the comments. You know, you did what you were supposed to do. You filled out all the config options, or even just filled it out to the best of your ability. You know, by creating this pull request, I just want to see what you guys did. And what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to randomly choose someone who has, you know, submitted their code and, you know, you know, follow good practice with the code, follow the things that I talked about throughout my series in their code. And I'm going to choose a winner. And what I'm going to be giving away is a Discord, one month Discord Nitro Classic to that winner. You know, it's kind of like a, a way for me to give back since, you know, I recently hit 250 subscribers. My suggestions bot has hit over 1,000 servers. Uh, Nerd Cave Development Discord, over 150 members. So things are kind of going well, if I'm to be honest. But that's kind of like, you know, part of the reason. Another reason is, you know, kind of like give you guys an incentive in ways to, you know, continue forth with developing and putting in the work because it's very rewarding when it comes to developing. So that's kind of like what I want to mention. Also, in this repository, um, it's not the files are in here now, but by the time you watch this video, it will be in there. There's going to be a instructions file, and make sure you read through that whole file, beginning to end, because it has instructions on what to do, how to create pull requests and such, and also has the rules. You know, like a couple rules um, that uh, like expect you to adhere to, like rules like when you're reading other contributors code or like how you're implementing your code, where you're implementing your code and, and such. So there are a few rules. The first rule is, well, using like linter here. So ESLint, which I talked about in the previous episode, I want to make sure that you guys are linting your code. And with that, I'm actually going to add in some new scripts for code to be linted because I just want to get you guys in the habit of you know good practice when it comes to your code and using linter if you're not sure what eslint or linting is go back and watch part two of episode one of my series and you can read more or watch more about that and again i'm not going to get too much into details because but everything is just going to be in that instructions file here in the repository so I want to say good luck to you all. I'm really looking forward to seeing you know, people contributing and opening pull requests just to really see you know, how you guys are actually you know, doing with your code and what's going on and such. So again, everything is being instructions file here in the repository. If you're new to Git and GitHub, have no idea what it is, come watch this GitHub and Git crash course by Traversy Media. And I wish you guys the best. If you have any further questions or whatsoever, please, you know, join the NerdCave Development Discord server. I'll be more than help, happy to help you guys and others, you know, can pitch in and help you as well. So I'm going to go ahead and end things there. Anyways, take care, nerds. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.